Okay, so we are going to uh, log in to this WordPress website that has um, WordFence uh, security on it. So, so mypremierecuts.com is the URL. To get to the back end of the WordPress, of course, it's wp-admin. And then when this loads up, uh, this is the login screen. And so from here, um, this is where you'll put the password in. So um, when you put your password in, you'll have your username set up. So your username will go here. And then your password will go here. Um, so let's see. Uh, password for this one. Uh, okay. So this is the password. I'm going to hit log in. And what's going to happen is, is the screen will basically refresh. And um, if you put the wrong password in, this box here will kind of shake left to right a little bit. If you put the right one in, it'll just kind of like blink. So let's see what happens here. And so it just basically refreshed, didn't shake. And so what happens is, is it says, it gives you these error codes, but that doesn't really mean anything. What just happened is, is your login uh, pin code comes to your cell phone. And so you'll get a text message with the uh, login. And it'll, the code always starts off with the lowercase wf for word fence. And it's case sensitive. So then you'll log in again, uh, username, and then you'll put the same password in. Um, and then after you put the password in, you're going to hit the space bar. Type in that WF lowercase and the code is WF LV capital LV 4J. Uh, and then once you put that in, make sure you have that space in there before you do the WF in the code and then hit login. And that'll get you into the back end of the site. And from there, you'll be able to do your edits. So um, that's how you log in to a WordPress website with the WordFence um, security. Uh, that has the cell phone uh, code activation set up on it as well.